If you have an energized line near your work site, induction is a concern. The amount of induction depends on the voltage on that energized line, the amount of current on that line, and how close it is to your work site. Here's some footage showing an arc being drawn while taking grounds off a transmission line that is close to another energized line. So this line was grounded, but the removal of the ground draws an arc because of the high levels of induction. Even if the line you're working on is grounded at a distant location, you should install personal protective grounds at the immediate work site to protect you and your crew from induction. Also, it's an OSHA regulation and an NESC rule that a line cannot be considered de-energized until the hazard of induction has been removed. To give you an example of induction, I have this low voltage multimeter. By just holding the probes up in the air underneath this 230,000 volt line, I get a reading of 12 volts. Other sources of induction include microwave, radio, and television towers. Once again, the closer you are to these towers, the more concern for induction. Don't take induction for granted. It's a silent killer that should always be considered as a source of electricity.